In today's episode of 3x7 Outdoor, we take Hosom's top three leading cars on the market, bring them to a skate park, racetrack, and see which one comes out on top. So we got the Hosom Venom. We got the Hosom X07. And we have the Ascend. Which one will dominate today? We're gonna take them to a skate park and a racetrack just to see how they act. It'll also act as a pretty good durability test. Yeah, it needs to be done. We need to show the whole world just how good or bad these cars are. We got a lot of comments saying that they're great. We got a lot of comments saying that they're junk. So we're gonna solve the debate today. So first off, this wholesome Venom, this nice green body. Under the green body, we have a ton of metal parts, like a ton. This thing runs on 3S. It's got front, center, and rear differential, adjustable shocks, all of that, super fun, super powerful. So I think this will do great on the racetrack. So this is the X07. It's a pretty durable truck so far. We've you know, done some testing out, out in the snow and things out there. And then as for the Hosom X16, it has the least metal parts and it's the smallest out of them all. Kind of more of your entry level vehicle, I believe. Mm -hmm. The funny part about this is that both of these are 10th scale and this one is 8th scale. I know you're done hearing all the info, so let's go to the racetrack first. Before we go there, ring that bell and hit the subscribe button. Oh, how times have changed. Now I get to drive. Launch. Three, two, one. Can I get a large nut or butter shake? Anything else? A vanilla sundae with raspberries. Look at that, 79 degrees. April 13th. Me too. Ooh a little peanut butter. Deal. Nut or butter. All right, we're at the track with the wholesome Venom. Let's see how she acts. Ready? Three, two, one, go. It's squirrely. Okay, you give it a shot now. Off the board, huh? Sorry if there's a little bit of wind noise, it's pretty windy. But the Venom seems to be doing great. The thing with it is that once you pull a wheelie, it's got that center dip, so it loses You lose all traction, that. yeah. So you get the torque, but you don't get the horsepower, you know? But it does hold the lines pretty well. Okay. You know <laughs> that what? was driver. Walk of shame. Wow. Seems pretty great on the track. It's got plenty of speed. Definitely more than you need speed for this. Next, see how she acts on the track. Here we go. Yeah. Turtle. It wants to kiss its rear end the whole time. I feel like it's hard. It's really difficult. Like you got the power the Venom has. It's definitely got power. But yeah. It doesn't. It wants to kiss its rear end the whole time. It's so easy to just make it spin out. Yeah. I have a little bit of fun. Got enough to flip over. Enough to flip it over. Yeah. Things we do for the shot.
Yeah, it's squirrely as heck. Hard to keep it in a straight line. It's, it's tough. I can't even do the straightaway. That was full tilt. Overview, I guess it's not super great on the track. Two of them out of the three. The Venom was pretty decent. I liked it, how it felt out there. It was pretty easy to control. Mm -hmm. Kept stable on the ground. But then the next one, the X07, uh, that one seemed like it wanted to just kiss its own rear end every time you tried to give a gas on this type of dirt anyway. And then it really was the same for the little guy. You just couldn't get speed. If you just maintained a really slow speed, you could go around the track night. You're not winning a race. So hopefully those two will be better on the skate park. So let's go. We better go find out. All right, we're at the skate park. Let's test it out. Wow. That... Wow. What was that? Hard landing. I don't know how many hits she'll, that she'll take, but. Yeah. Wow. That was high. Oh, hard landing, but it still does it. Hasn't broke. Oh. Oh, nose, nose dive. dive. Wow. Turtle. Oh. What are you doing? Oh. Here, you try it. All right. It has a whole extra cell. Boop. Oh. Went. Oh, she landed. Chassis is not bent. Flat as a pancake. Slam. Oh, she she's slammed. Done. She's done. I, oh, she broke. Look at this. The motor fan is gone. Totally gone. Well, fully disconnected. This thing was like a dream on here, but. <laughs> Took it a little too high, maybe. The output from the front differential is snapped. So, um. So, we're gonna have to order some parts and see how long that takes to get them. And the fan is out. So, shucks. Well, I guess we'll have to move on to the Hosom X07. Oh! What's going on? Oh! Oh, 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 oh! You I did, did it. it! That was nice. How come? That could seriously injure somebody here. You think so? Is there like signs that say so? I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing with you. You don't see the danger in these things? Not if we're responsible. Oh, really? This is a skate park. Yeah. Respect the area. There's parks for this. No, nobody's here. Come here at 6 in the morning. Okay. I'm serious. It's very dangerous. Have you seen somebody get hurt before? Yes. With an RC car. You want me to run it over? I appreciate if you guys get out. It's it's a huge health like injury risk. Lame. I guess the guy should call the city and see what they say. Like if you guys don't see anyone skating, you don't have that, you know, this area, whatever, you know. We've had it before where there's teenagers like walking crossways while guys are, yeah. you know what I mean? Well yeah, we've we've we're, stayed right we're here. We're totally the whole time. respectful of, of the skater. We. It is. It is really dangerous. If it, it can be if you collide, but so can you if you collide with another dude. Oh right. You know, we've, learned, we've learned to. Yeah. So. Yeah. It is, and I've been practicing driving these things for nine years. Right. So I, I'm not just this kid that just got it from Walmart. Well, I, and I, I know, and like, but I'm just saying, like, when there's a bunch of skaters, like. I understand. Yeah. I agree. I mean, that you should be able to skate when you come to skate. But we usually stay in a corner where you're not doing anything or... Sorry. We're all here to have fun. So. Alright. It's fine. Okay. We'll call it even. Solved. I guess so. That wasn't so bad. Did that just break? That was pretty good. Did the wheel break? What? 
I think the back wheel broke. Yep, it did. Really? One jump. We're testing out these like Amazon RC cars, right? Thing is, they've got a parts list, so you can just buy more. There, it's broke right Alone there. Alone the breakage. One jump. That wasn't one, even really a jump yet. One jump with the X07. I don't even know if I got it on camera. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's a guy that just came over here and was supportive of the cars. He was like, I want to see you guys rip around, you know? Yep. It's not everybody. It's not everybody. It can't take another hit. It'll just pop out again. That's the report. One jump and she she's uh She's a one hit wonder. She's done for the day. Let's We've got see. our last man standing here. See how this goes. Maybe this one's light enough that it won't break. Oh, oh, oh. So is it broken went, or not? Went straight over you. It's fine. He's still going. Not um, a lot of power. Maybe if we put a 25C battery instead of a 15C. Maybe. We'd have a little bit more power to do something. More chance to break something too, yeah. probably. Oh, I did not have enough air control to complete the backflip, so I sure tried to Sure doesn't land weight. like the Venom does. I literally stuck. Oh, nice. That was cool. Oh. A little nose dive there. It does feel really slippery, doesn't it? Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I did that same jump with that one and I wasn't even going fast or anything. Exactly. Self-destructed. Not bad. Should have caught that one. That was nice. That was a trick now. Oh. <laughs> and it's fine. Yeah, this thing is crazy. Same one that went in the snowbank like that. He just went into concrete like yeah. that. Oh. <laughs> Easy. No problem. Park offers for, you know, when it comes to an RC and jumping. Yeah. You're jumping right onto concrete. Yeah. And it's a high jump. Well, it seems like the Hosom X16 is kind of the winner. So it's far, light. so good. This it's thing light is... enough, but the problem is not super great on the track. So I think we're going to have to take it back home and discuss this. So what happened? On the Hosom Venom, we had a output shaft on the front differential break off. That's a metal piece and it broke off. Yep along with the motor fan, the entire assembly just came out of the casing. Mm -hmm. it, it's all still there, just the entire assembly is gone. Like the fan shroud is there just fine, but the guts just are gone. Yeah, couldn't even find it. On the X07, we got control arm that busted is really the only thing that busted. It just split right here. So this plastic is probably too soft. It just possibly split. nothing else was broken in fact if that wasn't cracked you could just put it back together and drive it again it landed on grass the Hosom x16 however the slowest cheapest littlest car out of the bunch did not break and we jumped it at its full speed obviously it's not as fast but mm -hmm. we jumped it at its full speed and it's fine yep it even crashed into concrete again like the like we crashed one other time and mm -hmm. Nothing happened to it. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked that video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell and share it with someone who you might think like it. If something like what happened to us ever happens to you, you can say, what's the difference between somebody, an inexperienced skater running into you on the track and an inexperienced driver running into you on the track? Yeah. It's effectively the same thing. So there's maybe a bad apple here and there that are irresponsible with their vehicles and mm -hmm. doing it. Hosom did send us all these cars for us to review, and we're very beyond grateful for Thank that. Thank you, Hosom. So make sure you go down, check out Hosom, and possibly even buy a car from them. Anyway, we will see you in the next video. 3x7 Outdoors, signing out. Bye for now.